this is what the new table is looking like. It does look a little lower compared to the other one, but definitely a lot bigger. Once you kind of go over here, you can see could easily fit four seats, if not even maybe more. But yeah, we had to hire a task rabbit <laughs> to come help Jay bring this up because this may look small, but I think it was like 300 and something pounds, maybe even more, which definitely was unexpected. So I'll have to put this together, which I will once Jay gets back. But yeah, loving the way it looks so far. <laughs> Okay guys, this is the new dining table setup. We obviously didn't decorate it or anything, but these are the new chairs. I'll have them linked down below. They're from Amazon and I love the, I think it's called Rattan backboard. I don't know how to say it, but the bottom is, um, what is this material called? I already forgot. Bugle, I think it's called. I really love it. And then like I said, just have this back. The table is from CB2. I'll also have it linked down below. But yeah, I just love how everything looks. I feel like it made the area a lot cuter, more of like a real dining space. And I like that it's circular. I feel like it'll be better for conversations, just having people over for dinner. We never really used to have people over for dinner just because our old table was so small. From up top, you can see how really big it is. So there's enough space for like each person to have their, you know, plate, drink, and all that. And then even room in the center for, you know, extra meals or whatever the case is, appetizer. So I'm really loving it. I feel like it makes the whole area look a lot cuter. And then I'm planning to put something above. I'm not quite sure yet, but we've been looking at a few things just to really dress up this wall a bit and really make this the dining area. I was also thinking of getting a chandelier plugging it in there and hanging it above because as you guys know we don't have any overhead light in here and I feel like this would just really establish that this is the dining area and I found someone on TaskRabbit that could transform a chandelier into a plug-in so they would basically just drape the uh, wire around there and up top think it would look cute but let me you know you guys' thoughts but yeah this is everything like i said i'll have it linked down below and in this area i just have our old lamp here for now definitely probably gonna get rid of it and our other chair so i did order a desk from also cb2 like a little acrylic one that would just fit perfectly here and then add the chair with it hey guys i feel like i haven't talked on here in a bit mainly because my camera broke well, not my entire camera but the flash broke so i ended up sending it out to Canon and they sent me one about a week later so now I have a brand new camera which is great my other one was a few years old so happy to have a little bit of I guess not an upgrade but a more better functioning camera I'm currently getting ready as you guys could see been a lot going on since we've been back a lot of craziness I won't get into all the details just because a lot of it's like personal stuff but getting through it and hoping for a more better positive day but we did get new furniture delivered this past week and we are expecting to get more next week so super excited because that means i'll be able to do a fully furnished apartment tour very soon so stay tuned for that but yeah i've just been enjoying this beautiful weather we're having here in new york city it was 80 something yesterday which is amazing because i was wearing a winter coat like last weekend so loving this change hopefully it stays today i think it's also supposed to be in the 80s so excited about that probably gonna go up to the rooftop later today get a little bit of a tan because I feel like I'm already losing my Thailand tan which is very annoying but whatever I'm actually trying out this new Peter Thomas Roth potency brightening vitamin C moisturizer I haven't tried it before and hopefully it sits well under my makeup Ooh, it doesn't really smell like anything but it looks really pretty I've been posting a lot on my TikTok and Reels so definitely check me out there and if you guys haven't heard of Lemon 8 
definitely check it out make an account it's like my new favorite app i worked with the brand a bit this week and honestly i fell in love with the app it's literally like pinterest combined with instagram combined with tiktok and you guys know how much i love pinterest so the fact that there's like the aesthetic elements i'm obsessed with it i've been posting a lot on there and most of its content that i haven't posted anywhere else it's a lot of you know original unique content that isn't on my instagram or tiktok or youtube so definitely check it out if you're looking for more content on trying to finish furnishing the apartment and like i said hoping for better days last weekend was easter and we spent it with my family i have some of that footage so i'll also insert that somewhere here but yeah i'm just gonna quickly get ready quickly shoot this content it isn't anything for brand or anything i just haven't taken any photos since thailand and like i said it's been three weeks so and then come back work for the rest of the day after work i'm gonna go upstairs and tan on the rooftop and probably read i got this new book it's called let that shit go i got it in the airport and i was like i feel like this is me in a book this is what sold me it says stomach stress gurgles are no match for this spinning rolodex of chill pills that's what i need that's exactly what i need so i was like okay after i finished the colleen hoover book i was like i need a new book so i'm definitely gonna read this one but yeah like i said just gonna quickly get ready and i'm gonna insert all the clips from the past week most of it is on my iphone i apologize but like i said didn't have my camera <laughs> quickly go shoot in top i believe is from zara I'll try and have everything linked down below earrings are amazon i love these this top well this jacket it's kind of like a cargo jacket i guess you could say this is from revolve i've had it for a bit but i'm going to try and do a little off the shoulder moment these jeans are from zara i actually got these in thailand and i'm obsessed with them love the fit love the frayed ends and then these heels i've actually never worn before but they're from dolce vita they sent it to me last year and i just never got the chance to wear them so i'm excited to wear these but the camera's about to die so i'm gonna quickly go shoot and i'll catch up with you guys later carry my shoes so I've literally been in my robe all day just doing work, but work's almost over. So I'm about to take off this makeup that I've had on since this morning when I went and took photos. Photos went really well, and I also filmed a few TikToks, so be on the lookout for that. Oh, I don't think I've shown you guys my robe. I think I got it when my camera was in here, but I got this Jerf Avenue robe. I'm obsessed with it. So in love with it. I'll have it linked down below if it's in stock. I feel like her stuff sells out so quickly. Last weekend, I don't remember if I vlogged on my phone, but I went to the Korean skincare, uh, one of the Korean skincare stores in Chinatown. I'm just so happy that I went there because it was like skincare heaven for me. Everything you've seen on TikTok that everyone raves about, all of the products were there. The place I went to, 35 milliliter or something. I don't know, something of the sort. But I spent almost $200 because I just really wanted to try everything out. And it's like one hallway in there, so... You have to wait online to get in then once you're in it's like quickly get what you need and go kind of thing so just wanted to try it all out i think i'm going to try and just do korean skincare for maybe a month and just see how it changes my skin so i just figured i would do a little quick haul for you guys so i got this beauty of Joseon, probably pronouncing that wrong cleansing oil i learned that you're supposed to cleanse with an oil and a water because some of your makeup skincare products are water-based some are oil-based and they both wouldn't just come off with just water. So, got this to try that out. Like I said, I'll let you guys know how that is. And I'll have everything linked down below in case you guys are interested. Another one I saw all over TikTok is this I'm From Rice Toner. I think it's just a very gentle toner, which is something I've been looking for. A lot of my toners are acids and 
It's not really something I want to put on my skin every single day. So I feel like this would be great to add into my rotation and, you know, see what it does for my skin. Next thing I got is this Soon Jung pH 6.5 lip cleanser. I love my cleanser right now, but I figure it doesn't hurt to try this one out since I heard everyone rave about it. Another product from Soon Jung, I got this 2X Barrier Intensive Cream. I figured this would be great for days that I use my tretinoin because my skin does tend to peel and just flake off. So this would be great to just keep it super hydrated and help to restore my skin barrier. Next, I saw this Beauty of Joseon Glow Serum. This has propolis and niacinamide. I saw this girl's TikTok. I need to find it and try and insert it, but her skin was glowing like I've never seen before. I've never seen someone's skin just glowing like that. Like she just looked absolutely gorgeous. So I was like, okay, gonna need to bring that one home with me. Then this one, I'm sure you guys have seen everywhere. This was the biggest rave is this Beauty of Joseon Relief Sun Rice and Probiotic Sunscreen. I'm actually about to try this out right now because like I said, I'm gonna go up to the rooftop and tan. And as much as I love my other sunscreens, I just wanted one like this that was a cream, but I could wear daily. So some of the other sunscreens I have, they're great for like with makeup and stuff or just perfect beach days. But there's days in the weekend when I just wanna run errands and have something I could just quickly throw on that will really make sure that my skin's protected for the whole day. As you guys know, we tend to walk a lot on the weekends. We walk from here all the way down to Soho, even further and back, and that's like two hours in the sun. So thought this would be perfect with spring here, summer coming up. And again, I'll let you guys know what I think about that. Last but not least, I got this, I think this is also Beauty of Joseon Dynasty Cream. I'm not really sure what this does, but I just saw a bunch of people say it was great. Again, I'll let you guys know my thoughts on all this, but yeah, that's just my little Korean skincare beauty haul. Oh, and I also got some from actual Korea when we had our layover in Seoul. I don't have all of them right in front of me, but this one I do and I have been using. It's this Gold Snail Wrinkle Plumper 2X Power. It looks like an injection, which is pretty cute. It's by the brand The Sam. Basically, you just take it off pump it and then i've been using it on my smile lines and just preventative you know on my forehead I'll let you guys know if i see any results from that as well the other things i picked up from Seoul was a um collagen mask 100 collagen which i really liked another thing from this brand i actually have it right here gold snail eye gel patch set i did a bit of a review on this one if you want to see it on my tiktok but these do slide off a bit I'm not sure if I'm like maybe not doing it right or if maybe if it got a little mixed up in there um, during our flight back, but these just slide right down my face. So I think next time I'm gonna do it, I think next time I try it, I'm gonna make sure I'm laying down just to see if it's, you know, making anything great or not. If it's, you know, any beneficial, but yeah, that's just my thoughts on it as of now. And I have been using Korean skincare just for months now. I'll just tell you guys one of the brands I've been using. It's this Kos RX Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. Love this for hydration. Like every time I wake up in the morning, my skin is glowing after using this. So I highly recommend. We'll link it down below. And the eye patches that I just mentioned, they remind me of this but in an eye patch for. Yeah, I just figured I would share that with you guys, but now I'm about to take off my makeup and head on up to the rooftop. Figured I would do the little review now as I put it on, just my bathing suit on, ready to go upstairs. Don't exactly know how much to put on. I know people say you're supposed to put two lines of your hands on, but I feel like that may be a little too much, so I'm just gonna try a little bit. It doesn't really smell like anything. It feels just like a very like soft, liquidy sunscreen. That's crazy. This does not smell like anything. Doesn't smell like sunscreen at all. This is how my skin looks. It does make it a little glowy, I will say. Oh, this feels nice. It feels like I'm just putting skincare on my face, like a nice moisturizer. <laughs>
happy Friday. I basically spent the whole day working, tanning upstairs. It was like 90 degrees again today. But I just got dressed, as you guys could see. And we're about to head out to dinner with some friends. Before we go, I just wanted to quickly show you guys my outfit because I haven't even really transitioned my wardrobe yet. So I just kind of pulled some things together. So let me know what you guys think. I'm wearing this top from Princess Polly. I've had this since last year. I'll try and link it down below if I find it. Wearing my same Zara jeans that I told you guys about the other day that I got these in Thailand. Pairing it with my Burberry purse. I actually got this at the Woodbury Common Outlets upstate for like a quarter of the price. So if any of you in the area haven't heard of it, definitely check it out. We've been going for years, obviously, since we live here, but it's a cool little tip if you're not from here and want to get some luxury goods at a cheaper price. Then I'm pairing it with my Tory Burch flats. I actually also got these from that outlet as well. And then I'm just bringing my little Revolve. Um, it's kind of like a cargo, I guess, trench coat kind of vibe, but yeah, I will catch up with you guys when we're there. <laughs> Happy Sunday. I just woke up not that long ago. They got me my favorite green tea lemonade. Actually, this is the peak. But I just got in my package from the Sephora VIB sale. So I figured I would share with you guys just some of the stuff I picked up. I also have a little helper down here with me. So I think I'm going to leave it like that. Please ignore the back. We were doing laundry and just have things hanging. But let's get into what I got. So the first thing I picked up is this color wow extra large bombshell volumizer i've seen so many people rave about this and since my hair is more on the thinner side i wanted to try this out see if it would give me more volume and i thought it'd be great for blowouts the next thing i picked up which i've seen everyone and their mother rave about is the givenchy prism libre um translucent powder it's a matte finish and enhanced radiance loose powder so i got mine in the shade four because it looks like that was what matched my skin tone the best. This is just what it looks like. It has like green powder here, like a beige orange one here, uh, another like tan one, and then a purple one. It says, a breath of powder for a matte, blurred, and remarkably radiant complexion. Givenchy's expertise ensures a sheer luminous finish during six hours without making facial lines thanks to an ultra fine, soft, and airy light texture. Sets makeup throughout the day to use alone or over foundation. So I'll let you guys know what I think of this, but so far I think it looks really pretty. I know a lot of people tend to get like the more pinky one, but that's for lighter skin tones, which obviously I don't have. So like I said, I just used kind of like the shade matcher and decided on this one. The next thing I picked up, which I saw, I think her name is El Eloise. I follow her on TikTok. She always raves about this specific Tower 28 lip gloss. So I wanted to try it out because I feel like our skin tones are kind of similar. This is just what it looks like. This is in the shade Pistachio. And then last but not least, I picked up a Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Liner. I wanted to try this one out. Follow, I think her name is Evelyn, if I'm not I'm mistaken. She always raves about this one in the shade Foxy Brown. So I figured I would try it out. It just looks like a very chocolatey brown but yeah that's everything i picked up now jay is about to make us some chocolate chip pancakes and i'm about to start getting ready because like i said we do want to head down to soho do some shopping okay guys we're about to head out this is just my quick outfit my hair would really frizz up super fast if i didn't wear a hat so i was like you know what? i'm just gonna wear a hat although i never do but super humid like it's disgusting even in our apartment right now so i'm just wearing this meds hat that i've had forever earrings are amazon Sunglasses, I believe, are Princess Polly. I'm wearing the same Zara sweatsuit that I feel like I wear all the time. Same with the Air Forces. I was going to wear my Jordan 1s, I believe they're called. But then Jay was like, maybe too much blue. So I just went with this. And then pairing it with my Bifar purse. So I'll catch up with you guys when we're there.
it's Monday. I probably should have ended up the vlog yesterday, but since I did it, I figured I would vlog a little today. Just got dressed, about to head to Pure Bar. I'm wearing this really cute set from Girlfriend Collective. I posted a brand deal with them before on TikTok. Definitely check it out, but they sent this over. I'm obsessed with their workout clothes. I think it may be my new favorite workout athleisure company brand, but I have this cute little sports bra, and then I'm pairing it with these little cropped leggings. I'm wearing my Birkenstocks just because, you know, you don't even wear shoes in this class. You wear grip socks, so this is just for the walking. And then I'm just throwing this shirt over it for today because it's honestly not as warm today as the other days, which is just fine. Then I'm just gonna throw on one of Jay's sweatshirts, but I'll check up with you guys when we're there. Mm -hmm. 